Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospers. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. At the end, the Spirit of the Lord says in the season, say yes to the will of the Lord. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love the Lord, you will keep the commandments of the Lord and give him a yes. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time it is that you are viewing this. I'm here to tell you that today is the day that the Lord has made and we're going to rejoice and we are going to be glad in it. We are going to be glad in it, whatever season, whatever reason, wherever you are in your life. Just take a moment. Uh, my my prosthetic nuggets have been about release, 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 letting things go, letting things go. Hallelujah. And as we release worldly things, hallelujah, somebody, God is releasing, hallelujah, blessings on our life. Hallelujah. We want to get to the point where we wake up in the morning and we say, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is raining blessings today. Hallelujah. Raining favor on our finances. Hallelujah. Raining favor on your romances. Hallelujah. Raining fa uh, favor and grace and mercy and blessings. Hallelujah. On our children and raining blessings and favors, goodness and mercy on every endeavor that we encounter through the process of the day. So in this season, we are releasing worldliness because God has given us a release and an impartation. Hallelujah, somebody, of blessings. Going from blessing to blessing, from victory to victory, to victory to victory to victory. So as usual, I usually start off, hallelujah, somebody, with just ushering in the spirit of the Lord. So I'm here to tell you that you've got to wake up in the morning and just say, Holy Spirit, you are welcomed in this place. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are welcomed in my mind, in my heart, in my spirit, in my home. Hallelujah. In my car, on my job, along with me hovering over my spirit on my trip to the grocery store, on my trip to the store, on my trip to the Walmart, on my trip to the mall, on the trip, wherever it is that you are going in your travels, in your daily agendas and in your walk. Holy Spirit, you are welcomed in this place. Healing, hallelujah, is welcomed in this place. Hallelujah. Physical healing, mental healing, emotional healing, hallelujah, is welcomed in this place. Hallelujah. Deliverance, healing, restoration, hallelujah, and the peace which passes all understanding is welcomed in this place, is welcomed in this place. Hallelujah, somebody. I get excited when I get ready to log in for a word from the Lord. And so the Holy Spirit uttered something else when I got ready to start this message. But I am going to actually do um, maybe a, a prophetic nugget motivational moment um, through the course later on this week. But today, 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 this is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. So I'm going to go along with the word that has been flustering in my spirit for the past few days. And so when I said, Lord, I said, what do I minister about? Hallelujah today. And the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the living God, it just in a still voice. I said, what am I going to say today? We are releasing some things. Hallelujah. So the spirit of the Lord says, keep the faith. Hallelujah. Keep the faith. So, so today, the prophetic nugget of the day is whatever your situation, whatever your circumstances is, be encouraged. Not only be encouraged, but keep the faith. Keep faith in what? Keep faith in yourself. Keep hope in yourself. Keep hope in your mind. Keep hope in your heart. Keep hope and faith in your spirit. Hallelujah. And God, hallelujah. Keep 
faith, hallelujah, in God and in yourself, hallelujah, because you can do all things through Christ which strengthens me, which strengthens you, hallelujah, somebody, you can do all things with, through Christ which strengthens you, which strengthens you, so let him be your strength today, let him be your burden bearer today, hallelujah, let him be your peace of mind today, hallelujah, let him be the resolve to the turbulent situation that might have been trying to transform itself in your life. Hallelujah. Because sometimes you got to say, okay, Lord, this negative situation is trying to make itself into my life. So sometimes you got to say, okay, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree today that peace mm -hmm, be still. So, uh, Trials and tribulations have no power today. Stress has no dominion today. Anxiety has no dominion today. Negativity from other folks have no dominion, no power, and no authority over your lives today in the name of Jesus because we are keeping the faith. Just plain and simple. Just keeping the faith. Keeping the faith. So before I go on, I just want to say... Um, put it like this in the book of Job it says and Satan himself was popping to and fro seeking in and out of the earth seeking whom he can devour so I was supposed to do some recording because I have a show called Candid Conversations that is supposed to be launching in the month of July anything that could go wrong did go wrong regarding uh the taping this week and then not just that but i had an all-out attack on my eyes like i woke up my eyes were red and they were puffy so i was like okay i just put this fresh pair of contacts in and i have to dispose of them and put in a new pair after i take these eye drops for the next week so pray my strength in the lord for him deliverance and restoration. I know that I have allergies and sensitivities and I was out, some old lady was coughing and she obviously probably had something, you know, she could have been carrying a germ or something, I don't know. But I just, you know, with this COVID-19 thing, keep your hands washed, keep your mask on. I know that they say, well, oh, you can come up out of your mask. I'm, I'm still gonna wear my mask. I have my mask on a chain like eyeglass wear i have it and i keep it around my neck when i walk out of the house i make sure it is around my neck so you know even though the cdc has lifted up for whatever reasons let's use some common sense some common knowledge some common wisdom and keep your face faces covered because this stuff flying around and floating around so i don't know i had eye irritation this week so you know i praise god in, in my through my glasses you can just see way too much you can see my extra little uh ring light and everything through my glasses so just bear with me and don't let the glasses distract you because we are talking about keeping the faith hallelujah keeping the faith so this week though he slay me yet will i trust him because all the days of my appointed time i I'm going to wait until my change comes. Even if I had to do this with an eye patch over my eye and a wet swab, I'm going to get a, a nugget in for the week. Consistency is the, th the key. Consistency is my goal. So Sundays, I am going to the top of the week. Last week, it was actually Monday. I was a little bit uh, tired from, you know, church and other things that was going on in my life. But this is not about me because it is about him that sent me. So I have got to keep the faith and I've got to know that I know that I'm going to be moving from glory to glory to glory, from blessing to blessing to blessing. And regardless of what trials and tribulations come my way, Regardless of what trials and tribulations come my way, I have to get up in the morning and say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No tongue that rise against me that thou shalt not condemn it because that is the inheritance of the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. And hallelujah, somebody. I have to say, Holy Spirit, go forth and catch all of the spirits that may have negative mindsets, feelings, emotions, and um thoughts towards me holy spirit go out touch their hearts touch their minds touch them with love touch them with peace touch them with joy give them that peace of god which passes all understanding who keeps your minds and your hearts through christ jesus because you know as a um i my my i have a license in cosmetology and a degree in education so you know i have worked throughout the years a month and a lot 
and around a lot of women. Plus, I went to an all-girl school. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, you know, you see a lot of cattiness. But, you know, I'm always kind of reserved enough to myself. But, you know, the Holy Spirit reveals things to you about people. So it's just like, okay, God, I hear you. In the name of Jesus, I hear you and I see you really clearly. So today with keeping the faith, keeping the faith, keeping the faith, in the book of Isaiah, it says, and I press towards the mark of the call for my, uh, not, not in Isaiah. Uh, okay, it's Isaiah 40 and 31 that says, and they that wait on the Lord, he will renew your strength. You will be able to mount up with wings like eagles. You will be able to walk and not be weary. And you will be able to run and not faint. But the key point to that is not losing the faith. Hallelujah, somebody is not losing the faith. So in this season, we are releasing faith. Hallelujah. Unleasing, releasing the faith. Releasing the faith. We are releasing faith faith. Hallelujah. We are walking in faith. We are talking in faith. We are thinking in faith. We are speaking in faith. Okay. Okay. And okay. Sometimes let me get uh, this light situation situated, but sometimes we have got to know So we've got to get to a point in our lives where we know that, okay, it says they that wait on the Lord. So you know what? I've got to have patience. I've got to have perseverance because I've got to keep the faith. The spirit of the living God says in this season, don't give up. Don't give an end. You are at your break through. Hallelujah. You are at the breakthrough of your business. Hallelujah. Right on the other side of the door is a comfort zone. Hallelujah, somebody. But you've got to keep the faith and you've got to keep pressing and you've got to keep moving and you've got to be patient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've got to be patient because as you, hallelujah, keep the faith, hallelujah, and you keep faith in God. Keep believing in God and keep believing in yourself. Keep believing in your goals. Keep believing in your dreams. God says he is going to release, hallelujah, in this season. Hallelujah. Just keep the faith. Hallelujah. And keep moving. So the Bible also says, and I press towards the mark of the call. So I press towards the mark of the prize of the call of my, high, my higher call through Christ Jesus. So as I'm pressing, it lets you know that sometimes there may be a little struggle. Hallelujah. But sometimes we've got to know that this too shall pass. That this season is only temporary. This season is only temporal because your blessing is on the other side of keeping the faith. The blessing is on the other side of keeping the faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Bible says after you press, sometimes you've got to wait. Sometimes there is a press. And then you get to a point where you shook off some, some things. You done shook off some people. You done shook off a bad mindset. You done shook off some negativity. And now you have that uh, Philippians 4 and 8 mind because whatsoever things are pure, true, and honest, and of a good report, we are thinking on those things. So we are thinking positively. So now we are at a point where, okay, the struggle is over. So now I'm walking by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm not turning to the right. I'm not turning to the left. I'm not focused on other people because I'm focused on God. And I'm not turning to the right. No, I'm not turning to the left huh? because I'm keeping my focus. Hallelujah on God. I'm keeping my focus on Jesus Christ. I'm keeping my focus on him that sent me. And in this season, I'm walking by faith. So I'm going to keep the faith and I'm going to walk in it. I'm going to talk in it. I'm going to think in it. I'm going to breathe in it. I'm going to just be in it in the moment. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. And hallelujah, somebody. So like the songwriter says, once you get to a point where you're walking by faith, that song say you got to run on to see what the end is going to be because the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to they that endure to the end. So at this point, when you walk, 
get a steady pace and just pace yourself. Today I'm getting up. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No tongue that rises against me, thou shalt not condemn. I walk in, I got negativity on the job. All right, Lord, whatsoever things are good, pure, and honest, and of a good report, I got to think on those things. Okay, Lord, you said walk in love because the greatest commandment is love. So now I'm walking in faith. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No tongue that rises. Why is she so happy? Because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hallelujah. Why is she so happy? Because she got the peace that passes all understanding because she keep her minds and her heart and through state through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Why is she always joyful? Hallelujah. Why is she always this? And why is she always that? And why is, and why is, and why? Because I I didn't turn aside to the right. I didn't turn aside to the left. The word of God says to, to keep your foot from evil. So I focus uh -huh, on God. Hallelujah, somebody. I had to start getting my focus and keeping my focus on God. So as I close out today, I'm encouraging you to keep the faith. Hallelujah. To be patient in the faith. Isaiah 40 and 31. And um, as you go on, press hallelujah if you have to and if you have to press just be patient hallelujah press patiently and know that there's a prize hallelujah hallelujah for your press there's a blessing for your press so as you release faith and patience and as you release your press and as you release your walk in faith and as you pace yourself and as you run this race called life. Hallelujah. Run it in faith and know that you can do anything but fail. Hallelujah. You can do anything but fail. Hallelujah. Because you've got to get out there and you've got to just keep going. And if it doesn't work out this way, hallelujah, somebody. It's the next door because God says, seeking ye shall find, asking ye shall receive, knock and the door shall open. He who seeks finds, he who asks receives, he who knocks, the door shall be open. Hallelujah. And if that door does not open, you have got to go before God and say, okay, Lord, what is it that I must do? Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. How do I position myself to get the release of blessings? Because I'm walking in faith. I'm talking in faith. I'm walking in patience. I'm walking in love and I'm releasing faith patience. I'm releasing faith. Hallelujah. And I'm releasing love. Hallelujah. And I'm releasing and exhibiting the things of God. So I need for God in this season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To rain down blessings. Hallelujah. And I'm, a, I'm here to tell you because a lot of people say, well, oh, she's just talking this, 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 and she's just saying this, 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 and da, 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 da. And well, I need to, I need to, well, let, let me explain to you this. The faith walk and pressing and endurance. I turned on my uh, my cell phone this morning, and when I popped in my my passcode and I looked into my phone, it said in twenty twenty, in twenty twenty, there were more new millionaires that were emerging out of twenty twenty. Okay, last year was a pandemic. But last year, in the midst of trial, in the midst of tribulations, in the midst of a bad situation, there were people out here that were walking in faith. Hallelujah. There's a lot of people that was talking in faith. There's a lot of people that were moving in faith, navigating in faith. And as they were releasing their faith and they were let go of doubt, they released doubt. And blessings came in because as they walked by faith, hallelujah, their blessings started to pour on in and their blessings started to pour on in. So I had to say, okay, Holy Spirit, what is it that I must do? Hallelujah. To get from point A to point B and to, you know, because I'm so busy, you know, sometimes when you are a selfless person and you are in ministry, sometimes you end up getting things that uh, push behind because you're so busy, concerned about being a blessing to somebody else. So I am going through a season right now where I'm about to not, I'm going to learn how to do a peaceful balance as in my faith walk. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm preaching to the choir. I'm preaching to myself. I'm, I'm going to be doing something new in my own faith walk because as I release my faith, now last year by faith, I published two books. So by faith, by um, October, I'm hope, hopeful to have some other things, uh, projects to emerge. So by faith, 
I have candid conversations on Say Yes on the Now Network. So by faith, I'm moving and I've got some things going. So I'm about to have a few sleepless nights. Hallelujah, somebody. So when you see me, yes, I'm going to have a pack of, of, of concealer on because my circles are going to be there because I'm about to press my way through this thing and press my way into the blessing because God puts dreams inside of you. He puts goals and he puts visions and those things that are quaking in my spirit while I'm sleeping and when I'm resting are about to be brought into fruition in the name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah somebody. You would think that I was ministering this message in the church because I don't, uh, I don't, you know, the air condition is going, but I don't broke out of a little bit of a sweat, but I got to go this evening, but I just pray that you pray my strength in the Lord as I pray your strength in the Lord. Remember, if you say yes to the Lord, that he will say yes to you and remember the seven steps to accessing your blessings. We've got to repent. We have got to have faith. We have got to have love. We have got to be, have prayer praise and worship and that is a recipe right there for success so today hallelujah hallelujah the word the prophetic word is release 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 because as you release things that are negative in your life god is going to release hallelujah release blessings hallelujah so know that when you say yes to the lord he will say yes to you and that there is a blessing on the other side of your yes. So release some faith today in everything that you do. Release faith. God bless you until next time. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health even as thy soul prospers. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. At the end, the Spirit of the Lord says in the season, say yes to the will of the Lord. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love the Lord, you will keep the commandments of the Lord and give him a yes.